Hi, everyone. Gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Maruko keeps company for saving the spot for a flower viewing party. Hey, Mom, let's go to a flower viewing. Put some food like fried rice and fried chicken in boxes. Oh, and an omelet, too. Why are you suddenly so keen on doing that? Maybe another time. If you keep saying another time, then all the cherry blossoms will be gone, Mom. Kama-chan's doing a flower viewing with her dad today. Isn't that nice? Yes, dear. They have their business, and we have our own. Oh, come on, Mom. You're such a meanie. Let's go, let's go. Stop that. <sighs> I can't go out for a simple flower viewing. I'm the most heart done by child ever. You exaggerate a lot. It's all right, Maruko. Huh? Because your grandfather is always at your service. Let's go and view those flowers now. Grandpa! <laughs> <sighs> what an absolutely perfect day to go out and look at flowers, huh? Definitely. But the cherry trees around here really don't have good branches or blooms. Let's buy juice and snacks and find somewhere nice to look at flowers. Let me think. Oh, who fancy that? Hey there. Huh? huh? Sasaki. Hey there to you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for tending the trees. It seems the cherry blossoms that you've been caring for intently are going to bloom finely, as usual. Yeah. I can't help but find it impressive to see them trying to bloom after they've endured the cold and harsh winter. There's something else, huh? We think you're pretty impressive as well. Oh, you're too kind, Maruko. Are you taking a walk? Yes, we were just going to view the cherry blossoms. Oh, I see. Well, I recommend you go to Sakura National Park. The trees there are all in full bloom. <sighs> oh, that's just the information we were after. Hmm. Well, let's go, Grandpa. It's beautiful, huh, Grandpa? Yes, it truly is one of the wonders of the world. Everybody's having a good time. All right, Maruko, where would you like to sit? Huh? Batman's watching the cherry blossoms alone. Doesn't he have any friends? Perhaps he's saving that spot for a large party of people. A large party of people? Yes, he probably came down here early so that he could save a good spot for a company party or something. Yeah? That sounds super boring. <laughs> Huh? Sounds like the man's upset. You're right. Do you think maybe he's sick or something? <laughs> Excuse me, is everything all right, sir? I I'm sorry to trouble you, but would you mind saving this space? I'll be back as quickly as I can. Huh? Oh. Please, it's incredibly important that I reserve this space! Where do you think he's going? He must have some urgent business to take care of. He probably ran off to the bathroom. Wow, look at this cherry tree, Grandpa. It's enormous. Yes, it's a marvelous cherry tree, isn't it? This is the perfect location for watching cherry blossoms. I couldn't agree more. Thank you very much. Oh. You really saved me. I was trying to save this spot, but I needed the bathroom pretty badly. Bam, looks like I nailed it, Grandpa. It certainly did turn out to be important business, right? Oh! Let me introduce myself. Here, my business card. Oh, Mr. Maruyama. That's me. I'm Maso Maruyama. <laughs> That's the first business card I've given out. 
Oh, well then, I'm doubly honored. And my name is Tomozo Sakura. Momoko Sakura. But everyone I know just calls me Maruko. Yeah? Well, that's quite a coincidence. Everybody calls me Maru-san. Hey, would you look at that? Both of you have Maru in your names. Ain't that cute? <laughs> it seems quite the imposition to be here this early. Uh, kinda. To be honest, I've been here since the sun came up. Huh? Ah. You've been in the park that long? It's the first responsibility I've been given in my new job. I want everyone I work with to enjoy the flowers from the perfect spot. That's a good reason if I've ever heard one. Still, it's a little bit early, isn't it? There's hardly anybody in the park. Yes, you've got a point there. But <laughs> I'd be in big trouble if my colleagues got here and there was nowhere to sit. I was up all night worrying about it, so I came here as early as I could. You should calm down and try to relax a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet. Huh? What's the problem? I must have left the rice balls in the office. A colleague went to the trouble of making them. I only have a snack here, but you're welcome to share it. It's no problem. Mm. Huh? But that's your food. Thank you, but I can't. Don't worry about it. You can pay us back by letting us stay here and watch the cherry blossoms. It's such a good location. What do you say to that arrangement? Perfect. To be honest with you, I was starting to get a little bored. Goodness, I really can't believe I was so careless. It's quite depressing. What a coincidence. I'm pretty much the most scattered brain person on the planet. I wouldn't brag about that. I can't believe I left the rice balls. The senior worker took the trouble to make them and I completely forgot. I'm sure she'll be angry with me. Ah, uh, you'll be all right, don't worry. He's right. You reserve the best spot in the park. They'll be so happy. You really think? <laughs> I'm telling you, you worry too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, you don't happen to worry about Nostradamus's great prophecies, do you? In the year 1999, in seven months, a great king of terror will descend from the sky and all <laughs> humanity will perish! Sometimes I'm afraid to go to sleep in case I never wake up again. It was around this time that Nostradamus's great prophecies was a popular topic on TV and made quite a lot of people anxious. I thought so. Are you worried about the prophecies too? Well, of course I'm worried, but... I knew it! So what do you think the great king of terror is? Maybe it's aliens in a UFO or a massive meteorite or a terrible volcanic eruption! What? What shall we do? Uh, chill out. That's in the future. You don't have to worry about stuff that's far away. <sighs> Yes, you're right. Sometimes I worry if my overanxious nature is going to prevent me from being a competent businessman someday. Now you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be a great businessman one day. Just keep it up, all right? Grandpa's right. Constantly worrying isn't going to get you what you want. Hey, huh? Maruko! Kama-chan! Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon, Mr. Honami. Did you know Grandpa and I would be here? Hmm. We ran into Grandpa Sasaki, and he said that he'd recommended this park to you. My goodness, you found the best spot, haven't you? Would you mind at all if we joined you? Oh, who is he? I see. You're a freshman employee. A little right behind the ears, huh? Yeah. I meant it before when I said you need to do something about your worrying. I have a tendency to be careless, so I'm perpetually worried that I might get fired for making a huge mess of something important. <laughs> You're young. So very young. Uh -huh. It's true, there are plenty of obstacles lying directly in the path of today's modern businessman. But then, without even realizing it, experience will mold you into the real thing. Just like this magnificent cherry tree. <sighs> of course. I see it now. Right, I'm going to grow and blossom until someday I'm exactly like this lovely cherry tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clouds? It's becoming overcast. That means it might rain. Huh? Rain? It looks fine to me. Mm. A few little clouds like that won't cause rain. Uh, you're worrying too much again, Mr. Maruyama. No, no. I better be prepared in case it rains. Maruko, my mom's omelet is easily the best I've ever tasted before. Bon appetit! Oh, 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 it's raining! It'll ruin everything! Here! Oh. Here! Thanks, mister! Here! Thanks a lot! There! For you! Thanks so much! 
Okay, I'm impressed. Mm. He totally saved the day, huh? Well, Maru-san, you sure saved us a lot of trouble. And it's all thanks to your over-anxious nature. I guess worrying too much can also be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> what a great spot. Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I see everyone's having fun already, huh? But you seem to have left these rice balls behind. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, this really is a lovely place. Thanks a lot, Mariyama. No, not at all. Well, I don't know about you, but I think this is going to be a great flower viewing party. Uh, if you don't mind indulging me, I would like to read out a haiku of mine. Ah. <laughs> cherry blossoms bloom. The color in all our cheeks is now cherry-like. The Tomozo Sakura haiku. Mm. Ah, that was magnificent. Hey, compose a haiku, Maru-san. What? No, I can't do that. Son, this is your chance to impress the company president. Here goes nothing. I'm a businessman. Through my hard work and effort, I'll be boss someday. <laughs> Maru-san, you sure got a big mouth. You'll go to the top. <laughs> Thank you. You're an ambitious man, Mariyama. I appreciate that. Yes, President Maru-san. Maruko can't help but feel empathy for Maru-san, who, after all, is as scatterbrained as she is, so she wishes him the very best of luck. In this episode, Hiroshi goes surf casting. Hey, Dad, do you think you're going to drive to your next fishing trip? Yeah. Oh, that's super exciting. I can't wait to tag along with you. Absolutely not. I want to be able to concentrate on fishing, and I can't with you there. Come on, uh -oh. please, Dad. Thomas' family took her out for a drive last week, and she had fun. They drove past a field that was nothing but flowers. Then they had tea in a fancy restaurant with an ocean view. You don't need to be in a car to see flowers. They're blooming in practically every park right now. Huh? And we have plenty of tea right here in our own home. Have as many cups as you like. Man, you're super stingy. Listen, I don't have to take this nonsense from you, Maruko. Ah, uh, come on, Dad. Take me with you. Drop it, okay? All I wanted was a measly drive. My answer is final. This time I'm aiming for the biggest game of the season. What do you mean, the biggest game? You see, around about this time of year, many of the fish from the deepest water venture on up to the shallower water. I'm after those bad boys. The one I'm aiming for is a massive sea bream. Great. I'll help you on your quest, Dad. That ain't gonna happen. Fishing is a serious battle between man and fish. That's why I spent lots of money on this ridiculously expensive fishing rod. Yeah? Expensive, huh? Uh... So, you paid a lot of money. I wonder if Mom knows about it. Uh, what do you mean? Of course, I might pretend I didn't hear what I heard. Are you trying to blackmail me right now? You're the one using big words I don't know. All I'm talking about is a simple car ride with my old man. Mm. On Sunday. I'll be back with a big one, so just prepare rice and miso soup. All right, I look forward to it. Bye, Mommy. I hope you two have a lovely time. <sighs> it's still night time. Of course it is. What kind of fisherman goes out in the daylight? That's ridiculous. You know you could always go back home. Huh. I know you bought the expensive rod without telling Mom. Mm. Don't you worry. I'm not a rat. I may look like it, but I can keep some big secrets. Don't forget, we need to stop by a restaurant with a sea view. Huh. How did you manipulate me so easily? Yeah, I'll mention to start fishing, that's for sure. <sighs> Dad, let's have tea at that place. I doubt they would be open this early. Aw, oh, that's a shame. It looks like a nice place. Hey, let's drop into a shop to pick something up. We haven't stopped anywhere yet, Dad. It's boring. Don't worry, there's a really good place that's just a little further up the road. Really? Make sure we stop there. Don't worry, leave it to me. <laughs> hey, buddy, give me some shrimp feed. Sure thing. Isn't this a nice place, Maruko? You're a stone-cold liar, Dad. 
You promised me that I'd get to a tea at a restaurant with a sea view. Last time I checked, this place was by sea. And I'm pretty sure that hot, fragrant beverage in front of you is tea. You got your wish. I can't believe I was stupid enough to believe you, Dad. I'm keeping my end of the terms and conditions, so keep quiet about that fishing rod. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to get fishing! Hey, have you caught anything yet? Not yet, but we've just started fishing. What? But it's been an hour or so already. Other people have caught fish. Look! Hmm? I'm aiming for the biggest fish around here. I'm not trying to waste my time catching tiny fish. Oh, this is super boring. Have patience. We'll catch something soon enough. Fine. Dad, I'm bored. It's taking an eternity. Just take a nap or something. I can't sleep on this hunk of concrete. Well, why don't you just try counting sheep? Maybe I'd be less bored if I had a turn. You'd never be able to catch anything. But how can you know unless I try it, though? Okay, very well. First, I should probably change the bait on the hook. Yes! I'm gonna catch a big one! Uh, uh, it's heavy! Uh, don't drop this! Shh, I wasn't gonna. Listen, you see the reel here? I watched everything you did. hi -ya! No, Maruka, watch the back! Uh, 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 uh. Why would that thingy fly that way? You cast it that way! <laughs> That's not a word. Huh? Did I catch something? Ah, I'm sorry. What happened? Our line caught on that man's line. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, don't you worry. It's perfectly all right. Uh. <laughs> Oh, so your name's Kazuo. Would you say coming to the ocean with your dad is something you do a lot? Mm. Don't you get bored with all the waiting? Mm -mm. The ocean is really fun. I know. How about I show you something that's really cool? Huh? That's a crawfish. Where'd you find this guy? Right here. There are lots of other interesting creatures around here, like crabs and starfish. Huh? Really? Come on, let's find them too. I'm just not having any luck today. Hmm? Nah? Catching a lot? Nah, just a few fish. Oh, just a few, huh? He might have caught more than me, but he hasn't caught a big one. Right. I'm gonna be the first to catch a big sea bream. <laughs> was fun, wasn't it? Hmm. I want to bring Yuki here with me someday. So who's Yuki? A friend of yours? She's my kid sister, but she's still just a baby. Yeah? And boy, she's super cute. She has small hands, and my parents even let me give her her milk bottle. Really? Well, you sound like the perfect big brother. Today is her 100th day birthday, so my mom is gonna make her a special dinner to celebrate. My mom makes the best food ever. That's the reason we're here right now. Dad is catching fish for the meal. Cool. I'm really happy for your dad. He's caught a whole bunch of fish today. Mmm. But still, he hasn't managed to catch a sea bream. That's the most important one. Let's see if he's had luck. Mmm. <sighs> I haven't caught a single lousy fish yet. This entire area should be teeming with sea bream. Uh, this is no good. If I don't have sea bream for the meal tonight, the whole thing's ruined. I'm starting to think I should not have said to just prepare rice and miso soup for dinner. I really can't go home without a sea bream. <sighs> huh? You haven't caught a thing? Hmm. The special celebration for Yuki is ruined. Oh, Kazuo. <sighs> Kazuo! Yeah. Kazuo, what are you doing? You'll fall into the water! Kazoo! Stop that right now! The sea bream is for Yuki! Just stop it and come here. All right. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, come on! Come on! <laughs> ah. That's a mighty fine fish. Yeah, true. Well, we'd better get going. Mom's waiting for us at home. Mm. Guess this is goodbye. Thanks so much for playing with me today. Uh. Mm.
Hey, look, Ruko, isn't it awesome? Oh, <laughs> uh, say, Dad. Hmm? What's up? Can we give the sea bream to Kazuo? <laughs> Where did this suddenly come from? Today is a special day. Kazuo's sister was born a hundred days ago. And they were hoping to celebrate with a meal that is sea bream as the main dish. <laughs> Please, Kazuo's mom is waiting for sea bream as well. It's important, Dad. Yeah, but if we give this away, we won't have anything for our main dish at dinner. It'll be okay if we just have miso soup. <laughs> Please, Dad. <sighs> I wanted to eat it. Excuse me. Huh? I heard you're having a special dinner tonight. Please accept the sea bream for your celebration. Enjoy it. But you're the one who caught the fish. No, no. It's really not that important, honestly. We would love it if you give it to Yuki. It's her first bite, isn't it? <sighs> In that case, I gratefully accept your generous offer. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's nothing. Not true. You have no idea how much you've helped my family. Please take the fish I caught. I'm just sorry they're all a little bit on the small side. Don't worry, I'll take anything. Hey, thanks a lot. I'm happy you and your family can celebrate properly. Mm. We had fun today, didn't we? Sure, fishing is really a fun pastime. I'm sorry, you caught that sea bream and gave it away. Come on, don't worry about it. You only get one chance to celebrate some things in this life. I can catch another sea bream anytime. You're a pretty cool dad, you know that? <laughs> That's not surprising. All men who love fishing look cool. <laughs> Let's go home, Dad. Mom and everyone are waiting for us. Yeah, and we've got plenty of fish for dinner. A spring day spent by the sea. The feel of the refreshing sea breeze on her skin is still clear in Maruko's mind. 